At the 2024 ESPY Awards, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle faced an unexpected reception as they were booed by a portion of the audience. This incident occurred during ESPN's 32nd annual ceremony, which honours athletic achievements held at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles on July the 11th. Hosted by Serena Williams, a close friend of the couple, the event saw Williams giving them a special mention in her opening monologue. It's, well, actually only pretty often that I get to be in a room with actual royalty, and tonight is no exception, Williams announced. Prince Harry and Meghan are here, let's give it up for them. However, her playful comment took a turn when she added, but please Harry and Meghan, try not to breathe too much tonight, because this is my night and I don't want to be overshadowed by the accusations that you guys are taking up too much oxygen, okay? This was meant to be a light-hearted jest, but it seemed to fall flat with parts of the audience. Footage from the event captured Harry and Meghan's reactions, showing Meghan visibly displeased, likely due to Williams not using any royal titles in her introduction. Prince Harry appeared uncomfortable with no visible smile. When the camera panned the audience, many seemed unenthusiastic, with sparse applause. The reaction was more pointed when Serena referred to them as actual royalty, which was met with noticeable boos. It suggested that the live broadcast covered these boos with an applause track, a common practice in live television to maintain the event's positive atmosphere. Criticism of Harry and Meghan at the ESPYs went beyond the immediate audience reaction. Many commentators and members of the public have long been sceptical about their post-royal life and their public appearances. The couple who stepped back from the royal duties in early 2020 have often been accused of seeking the spotlight rather than living a life of service. A significant point of contention was their receipt of the Pat Tillman Award, which is given for service and leadership. Critics argue that Harry and Meghan have not lived up to the values exemplified by Pat Tillman, a former NFL player who left his sports career to serve in the military and was tragically killed in Afghanistan. Detractors describe Harry and Meghan as selfish grifters and accuse them of turning any event into a platform for self-promotion. Royal commentators like Hilary Fordwich expressed scepticism over Prince Harry accepting the award amidst significant public backlash. Speaking to Fox News, Fordwich noted, his refusal to turn down the Pat Tillman Award despite suffering a furious backlash with the petition, urging ESPN to reconsider its decision, tangibly shows how his popularity has plummeted. Additionally, Admiral Lord Alan West, the former head of the Royal Navy and a Labour peer, advised Harry to reconsider accepting the award, you ought to think very hard and long about accepting this particular award, as it doesn't sit well with many in the military, West commented. The award, according to West, doesn't align with the values held dear by those in military service, further fueling the criticism against the Sussexes. Despite the backlash, Serena Williams and the Sussexes share a long-standing friendship, having first met at the 2010 Super Bowl. Meghan reflected on their bond in a blog The Tig in 2014, noting the shared interests and mutual ambition. Yet, even this friendship couldn't shield them from the scrutiny they faced at the ESPYs. 